This is KNEB.TV weather from the KNEB Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. Across the region, we're going to look for, well, sunny skies, but it's going to be windy to start the evening. Winds will decrease overnight. Not a bad evening. And then winds pick up tomorrow morning again. Looks like uh, windy, warmer conditions coming our way. In fact, Friday, we could be dealing with near record highs before some showers and storms come in late Friday. Even a possibility of some severe weather in portions of the region. Then a strong storm system, I think, is going to just skirt us to the north. We're going to be much colder and windy for the weekend. And then nicer conditions look like they're on the way for next week with maybe a period of lighter winds. 80 yesterday, missed a record by just 5 degrees after a morning low that was right on normal at 34. We are going to fall now below an, an inch or more below month of normal total day with no more precip out there. And we continue to have concerns with not only red flag warnings underneath those red flag warnings for tonight until 7 are more fire weather watches that are posted uh, on into Friday as well as we're going to be dealing with a very incredible fire conditions not just here in the immediate area but these go across a large portion of nebraska uh, and then uh, portions of kansas there with some high wind watches out as well and that blue area you see off to the north of us uh, not what those folks want to see up there but that is another round of winter weather coming to that region with winter storm watches posted for northwestern portions of north dakota or south dakota rather and western north dakota northeastern wyoming and eastern portions of montana that is where this next storm system is going to take the heaviest snow again picking on those areas 70s and 60s here across the region mostly in the 60s here in our area 57 in lusk 71 in ogallala Winds pretty gusty, 20, 25 miles an hour. They're gusting to 40 at times. Those are going to quickly come down, though, this evening. Haven't shown this graphic in a while. This is our severe weather outlook as we go into Friday. This is for Friday now. Again, along that system, we're dealing with a decent shot of severe weather here, especially in central and eastern portions of Nebraska, areas like Mullen over to North Platte, McCook, and eastward from there. We're looking at mostly a large hail damaging wind event expected with this storm system. Again, areas just to the east of the panhandle on that uh, threat of severe weather. We could see enough sneak back in here into northeastern Colorado and portions of western Nebraska. We'll keep an eye on that for you as well. Let's take a look at the bus stop forecast getting on tomorrow with 38 degrees with sunny skies. And on the way home, it'll be mostly sunny but windy. We've got mid-70s tomorrow. It is going to warm up out there as we go through the next couple of days. Tonight, clear skies overhead, not much going on. It is going to be abundantly quiet here across the region. Just some breezes early and then calming down uh, as we go through the nighttime hours. Temperatures mostly in the low to mid-30s. Now tomorrow, we're going to be setting the stage for an active day Friday with a calm day tomorrow. Not winds, but calm weather otherwise. We're going to have mostly sunny skies, a few showers north of us and east of us tomorrow. Most of us are going to stay dry, and we're going to be dealing with some clouds increasing towards Friday morning and winds that are just going to be hammering in out of the southeast. That's what's going to drive these temperatures up. We've got 70s on the forecast for tomorrow. Nothing coming in precip for the next 36 hours, but that changes. Let's show you what's happening here Friday as we get into Friday afternoon, Friday evening. You see the approach of that storm system. Going to see some moderate to heavy rains into the early Saturday night or Friday night into early Saturday morning. Then that rain switches over to snow. We're going to watch this area of snow here uh, that continues on into Saturday afternoon and even into early Sunday before the whole system pushes off and out to the east. What's that leave us with? Well, that leaves us with some snow. Uh, it looks like areas to the north of us is where most of the snow is going to be falling. I uh, Again, an inch or two possible in portions of uh, the northern panhandle uh, and with one model. The other model shows a very similar situation with an inch or two areas to the north of us. What we're concerned about, though, is off further to the north of that. These are some heavy snows being picked up by these models just to the north of the Black Hills uh, in portions of South Dakota. We're going to be dealing with a heavy amount of snow in some of those areas. Let's take a look at our forecast tonight. 34 with decreasing winds. Gusty early. Now tomorrow, windy conditions return to the region. Partly cloudy. Mild, though. 77 degrees. Even milder. Look at Friday. We're at 86. That's very near a record. 
And we're going to drop 40 degrees from that on Saturday. We've got some morning showers here. Snow possible in the northern panhandle. Going to stay kind of chilly and windy into Sunday with temps in the low 50s. Then we quickly warm up next week. 60s on Monday, 70s and back to near 80 by Wednesday. And calmer winds appear to be on the way for next week.